بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از سبجیکٹ آف جنرل سائنس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈفرینس بٹوین اینیمل اینڈ پلانٹ سیلس اوور آل دس از لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی فائیو دا آؤٹ لائنس آف دا لیکچرز اور انٹروڈکشن بیسک پارٹس آف دا سیل the cytoplasm and organelles venn diagram and then its explanation now we will discuss about that uh, what is meant by plant cell and animal cell so for first of all uh, we explain that what is meant by plant cell a plant cell this is a eukaryotic cell that contains a true nucleus and certain organelles to perform specific functions however some of the organelles present in the plant cells are different from other eukaryotic cells so if we ask that what are the different types of plant cells different types of the plant cells are cello uh, cell and chemia and uh, cell chemia parenchyma xylem and phloem now in plant cells which organelles are found the organelles found only in plant cells and they include chloroplast cell wall plus plastids and large central vacuole the chloroplast contain a green pigment chlorophyll that is responsible for the process of photosynthesis so what is the composition of plant cells wall the cell wall of the plant is made up of cellulose and cellulose is a long linear polymer of several glucose molecules and if we define the plant cells then we can say that plant cells are eukaryotic cells with a true nucleus along with specialized structures called organelles that carry out certain specific functions and plant cells are eukaryotic cells that uh, vary in several fundamental factors from each eukaryotic organisms both plant and animal cells contain nucleus along with similar organelles so one of the distinctive aspects of a plant cell is the presence of a cell wall outside the cell membrane now what is meant by animal cells that uh, we now explain that what is meant by animal cells a cell carries out all the processes of the body which includes producing energy and storing it making proteins which are molecules which have roles in metabolism transportations of other molecules and dna replication now there are different parts of animal cells like uh, 13 main parts of the animal cells are there and what are those parts cell membrane nucleus 
एंड न्यूक्लियोलस न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन साइटोप्लाज्म एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गोल्जी ऑपरेटस रिबोसोम्स मेटोकॉन्ट्रिया सेंट्रियोल्स साइटोस्केल्टॉन वैक्यूल्स एंड वेसिकल्स so if we find the difference between plant cell and animal cell then we can say that uh, a plant cell contains a large singular vacuole that is used for storage and maintaining the shape of the cell in contrast animal cells have many smaller vacuoles and plant cells have a cell wall as well as a cell membrane so animal cells simply have a cell membrane but no cell wall so what is animal cell animal cells or the basic unit of life in organisms of the kingdom animalia they are eukaryotic cells meaning that they have a true nucleus and specialized structures called organelles that carry out different functions now what are the three basic part of the cells the number one is cell membrane and the second one is nucleus and the third one is cytoplasms so these are the three basic parts of the cell now first of all we see that what is meant by cell membrane remember that cell membrane every cell is surrounded by a cell membrane this is what you should know it is a semi preamble membrane that is present within the cell wall it is composed of a thin layer of protein and fat it is sometimes called a plasma membrane the cell membrane plays an important role in regulating the entry and exit of specific substances within the cell the cell membrane separates the cells from its external environment and from the neighboring cells for instance cell membrane keep toxins from entering inside while nutrients and essential minerals are transported across the cell membrane also called the plasma membrane is found in all cells and separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment the cell membrane consists of a lipid bilayer that is semi preamble the cell membrane regulates the transport of materials entering and exiting the cell now in simple definition of cell membrane we can say that the cell membrane is a thin layer that encloses a cell's cytoplasm which is the substance between the membrane and the nucleus 
It allows beneficial things to pass through which blocking harmful ones and the cell is the basic structural unit of all living organisms. So in fact how it is made? With few exceptions cellular membranes including plasma membranes and internal membranes are made up of glycerophos folipids molecules composed of glycerol a phosphate group and two fatty acid chains glycerol is a three carbon molecule that functions as a backbone of these membrane lipids now the second part that is nucleus okay, what is its meaning the nucleus is the most important organelle this is like little body within the cell because it is itself a cell body it has two vital functions and what are those functions the con control the activities of the cells and to facilitate the cell divisions because when cell goes to divide then this is the function of nucleus that it facilitates cells in divisions or while breaking up into different cells so nucleus supports that cell and also control all the activities of the cell the nucleus this is a membrane bound structure that is present only in eukaryotic cells the vital function of a nucleus is to store dna or hereditary information required for cell division metabolism and growth and when we talk about the nucleolus then it means it manufactures cells protein producing structures and ribosomes then nucleopore nuclear membrane this is a nuclear membrane is perforated with holes called nucleopore that allows proteins and nucleic acids to pass through the spherical organelle is usually located in or near the center of the cells we all know that animal cells contain three regions plasma membrane nucleus and cytoplasm the nucleus is a cell's central organelle which contains the cell's dna the cytoplasm is composed of two parts the cytosol and organelles and its function in animal cell is that the nucleus controls and regulates the activities of the cell for example growth and metabolism and carries the genes structures that contain the hereditary information nuclei or small bodies often seen within the nucleus and the gel like matrix in which the nuclear components are suspended is the nucleoplasm 
so what is nucleus and where it is found in an animal cell the nucleus is an organelle that contains the genetic information for that organisms in an animal cell the nucleus is located in the central region of the cell in a plant cell the nucleus is located more on the periphery due to the large water filled vacuoles in the center of the cell the third part is that is cytoplasm cytoplasm this is a thick solution that fills each cell and is enclosed by the cell membrane cytoplasm is sticky semi fluid material found between the nucleus and the cell membrane chemical analysis of the cytoplasm shows that it contains it consists of proteins lipids carbohydrates minerals salts and water it is mainly composed of water salts and protein we all know in eukaryotic cells the cytoplasms includes all of the materials inside the cell and outside the uh, outside of the nucleus so if we want to see that how or what does the cytoplasms do in a cell so we can say that the cytoplasm functions to support and suspend organelles and cellular molecules many cellular processes also occur in the cytoplasm such as protein synthesis and the first stage of cellular respiration known as glycolysis mitosis and meiosis so what is the cytoplasms made from cytoplasms is the gelatinous liquid that fills the inside of the cells it is composed of water salts and various organic molecules some molecules are some intercellular intracellular organelles such as uh, the nucleus and mitochondria are enclosed by membranes that separate them from the cytoplasm so why is cytoplasm so important remember that most of the important activities of the cell occur in the cytoplasm and cytoplasm contains molecules such as enzymes which are responsible for breaking down waste and also act in metabolic activity cytoplasm is responsible for giving a cell its shape it helps to fill out the cell and keeps organelles in their place so where a cytoplasm is found you must know that cytoplasm is a is a clear thick liquid that fills the insides of cells and it is located inside the cell membrane and the organelles such as the nucleus then we shall study about the cytoplasms and organelles so first of all here i explain that what is meant by the cytoplasm 
The cytoplasm is a thick solution that fills each cell and is enclosed by the cell membrane. It is mainly composed of water, salt and proteins, what we have studied before and it is mainly composed of water, salt and protein. In eukaryotic cells, the cytoplasm includes all of the material inside the cell and outside of the nucleus. The cytoplasm functions to support and suspend organelles and cellular molecules. So many cellular processes also occur in the cytoplasms and such, uh, such as uh, protein synthesis the, and the first stage of cellular respirations, mitosis and meiosis. So most of the important activities of the cell occurs in cytoplasms and uh, cytoplasm contains molecules such as enzymes which are responsible for breaking down waste and also add in metabolic activity. Cytoplasm is responsible for giving a cell its shape. It helps to fill out the cell and keeps organelles in their place. And uh, what is meant by organelles? An organelle is a subcellular structure that has one or more specific job to perform in the cell. Much like an organ does in the body. Among the more important cell organelles are the nuclei, which stores genetic information, mitochondria, which produ produce chemical energy, and ribosomes, which assemble proteins. So, what is cell and cell organelles? Cell organelles is a specialized entity present inside a particular type of cell that performs a specific function. So there are various cell organelles out of which some are common in most types of cells like cell membranes, nucleus and cytoplasm. So if we quote the different examples of the organelles, then we can say that uh, in eukaryotic organisms, nearly every cell has a nucleus. Exceptions include mammalian red blood cells. The other common organelles seen are mitochondria, plastids like among autotrophs, endoplasmic, reticula, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes and vacuoles. Cytoplasms, this is uh, just like a jelly, jelly-like substance found inside cell that acts as a medium for chemical reaction within the cell. And Golgi body, it's also called operators. Packages the protein made by the ribosomes so they can be sent out of the cell, the UPS store of the cells. They are found in all eukaryotic cells which are involved in disturbing synthesized macromolecules to various parts of the cell. The Golgi operators also called Golgi complex or Golgi body. This is a membrane bound organelle found in eukaryotic cells and cells with clearly defined nuclei that is made up of a series of flattened stacked pouches called cistern, cistrine. So it is located in the cytoplasm next to the endoplasmic reticulum and near the cell's nucleus. While many types of the cells contain only one or several Golgi operators, plant cells can contain hundreds. The Golgi operators, this is responsible for transporting, modifying 
and packaging proteins and lipids into vesicles for delivery to targeted destinations as the secretory proteins move through the golgi apparatus a number of chemical modifications may transpire important among these is the modification of carbohydrate groups also within the golgi or secretory vesicles or proteases that cut many secretory proteins at specific amino acid positions then the next one is mitochondrion this is powerhouse of the cell breaks down sugar molecules to release energy site of cellular respirations double membrane self replicating contains own dna cristi they are double membrane organelles found in the cytoplasms of all eukaryotic cells they provide energy by breaking down carbohydrate and sugar molecules hence they are also referred to as the powerhouse of the cell the golgi apparatus was observed in 1897 by Italian cytologist Camillo Golgi and Golgi's early studies of uh, nervous tissues established a staining technique that is referred to a Reisons nail meaning black reaction today it is known as Golgi stain now what is meant by vacuum this is just like a storage tank can hold food water or waste for the cell vacuole in biology a space within the cell that is empty of cytoplasms lined with the membrane and filled with fluid especially in protozoa vacuoles are cytoplasmic organs performing functions such as storage ingestions digestions excretions and expulsion of the excess water so a vacuole is a membrane bound cell organelles in animal cells vacuoles are generally small and help sequester waste products in plant cells vacuoles help maintain water balance sometimes a single vacuole can take up most of the interior space of the plant cells vacuoles or membrane bound sacs within the cytoplasms of cell that functions in several different ways in mature plant cells vacuoles tend to be very large and are extremely important in providing structural support as well as serving functions such as storage waste disposal protein and growth what does it mean ribosome it makes uh, proteins for the cell can be found attached to the endoplasmic reticulum or free in cytoplasm so there are the smallest membrane bound organelles which comprise rna and protein they are the sites for protein synthesis and are also referred to as the protein factories of the cell so ribosomes are minute particles consisting of rna and associated proteins that functions to synthesize proteins and proteins are needed for many cellular functions such as uh, repairing damage or directing chemicals then endoplas uh, micreticulum transportation network for the cell moves 
material around in the cell roof endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum that has ribosomes attached and in biology uh, continuous membranes membrane system that form a series of flattened sacs within the cytoplasms of eukaryotic cells and serves multiple functions being important particularly in the synthesis folding modification and transport of proteins it just like smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes attached then in the uh, lysosome cell digest stomach of the cells help the food waste and worn out cell parts Le lysosomes are called uh, suicidal bags as they hold digestive enzymes in an enclosed membrane they perform the function of cellular waste disposal by digesting worn out organelles food particles and foreign bodies in a cell chloroplast this is a special plastid that contains a chlorophyll a pigment that captures the sun's energy to produce glucose in a process called photosynthesis then cell walls uh, rigid outer layers made up of cellulose that supports the and protects the cells like plant fungi fungi and bacterial cells and vesicles it stores and uh, transport substances from the golgi body to the cell membrane for export the ups truck of the cells and cytoskeleton that gives support and shape to the cells made up of protein and centrioles organizes special part of the cytoskeleton called microtube tubules for cell divisions migrates to opposite end poles of the cells to assist with cell divisions so this is uh, these are the different parts of the cells like here uh, we have uh, studied about different parts and venn diagram this is just like venn diagram there some things are uh, common in uh, animals and plant cells and in recapitulations uh, first of all we have studied about plant cells and then we defined that uh, what is meant by plant cells that animal cells then uh, cell membrane nucleus cytoplasms the cytoplasms and organelles golgi body and mitochondria and vacuoles ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum lysosome cell digest chloroplast cell wall vesicles cytoskeleton and centrioles then venn diagram this was all about this lecture Take care of all of us.